we've run over 250,000 trains over the last 15 years. It's the first time this has happened. Um, and five trains were trapped in the Channel Tunnel at the same time. We're concerned about the experiences that passengers had in the evacuation on those trains. And for that reason, we've decided to commission an independent inquiry um, chaired by um, somebody called Christopher Garnett, who's the ex-chief um, executive of GNER, the UK rail company, and a former non-executive director of Eurotunnel, and somebody else called Claude Grezier, who's a French inspector who's responsible for roads and bridges in France. Every year we, d we carry out a programme called winterisation, which is to protect the trains from cold weather and particularly from ingesting snow. Those modifications have worked successfully for the last 15 years. What caught us by surprise was actually the incident that occurred on Friday night. And for that very reason, that's why we've been running test trains um, yesterday to try and reenact the conditions. We now have found that something has occurred which is causing an ingestation of snow into the rear power cars on the trains. And we've made overnight modifications to prevent that happening. That we hope on testing them again today that those modifications will prove to be successful to allow us to resume service again. Well, the latest is today we're running um, three test trains. Sorry, the latest today is that we're running three test trains with modifications that we've made overnight that we believe should be able to crack the problem that we've experienced. On the assumption that the test trains run successfully today, we'll make an announcement at 6pm this evening about the resumption of services tomorrow.